In this episode of the St. Matthew training videos, we're going to look at blended backgrounds. So this is the blended playlist for April 3rd, 2011. I'm going to be looking at the songs and determining what backgrounds fit the songs. Now you'll notice this, the first song is Come, Now's the Time to Worship, and it's in yellow because the previous background that was used on it, um, yellow stood out better than white. And I try to keep the colors um, consistent throughout a service so that if, if I'm going to use that idea that yellow is the way to go, then all of the congregational responses in the whole service should be yellow. I'm not sure that's true for this case, but we're going to find out depending upon the backgrounds we choose. Okay, so we, we are looking at our motion background playlist in the backgrounds. And we've got a bunch of them that are for fall, which the season of the year right now is spring, so that doesn't work. And the other thing I look at is the context and the meaning of the song. And it looks like this one is just focusing on praising the Lord, looking forward to the day when he returns and everybody will bow and praise him. Excuse me. So something to do with praising the Lord. And when he returns again, so we could use a world one. Uh, we could use sky. Well, let's get the yellow text up there and see what happen, how this looks if I do this. So here's a sky cloud one. Let's see if this... Now notice this, this background will not work because it's not, it's a looping background but it doesn't loop smoothly. It looks like you're diving through the clouds and then all of a sudden you're back up again. So that won't work. If I wanted to do a cloud one, like this one, the clouds keep coming and so it's like you're constantly flying through the clouds even when it repeats. It's like seamless. Or this one, if you're above the earth. Since the song is mostly about us praising God, I'm not sure that that one would fit. Now here's one with a guy praising God in maybe a church with a circle window with a cross in it. That might work. We got um, palm branches one. That will not work with the yellow, definitely. We got lots of spring pictures we could use for praising God. I see the yellow will work on here, but I don't think white will work. Lots of screens, uh, spring pictures, um, tulips, mountains. Here's one at night. He's praising, or this guy on the ocean that's praising. Or hands raised high, which yellow would not work for this at all. I'm not sure that white would work either. We could do format and change it all to white. See what happens. Well, it's easier to read. Nice picture, but it's not. You're not gonna be able to read that. A lot of motion backgrounds I found are just fun motion backgrounds, but I'm not sure that they work for worship. Like this one looks like you're drowning. Another option would be, because it's talking about praising God and serving Him, would be some cross options. This is a very blue cross, which might work. Uh, I remember seeing some other crosses. Here's one. This one might be kind of distracting for the people, because it keeps moving so abruptly.
This is very subtle. You almost can't tell that the purple background slightly changes. Let's do that one. So I'm going to hit command. I'm going to hold command to drag it up there and put it in there. And there's the first one. Looks like it works very well. Now, the uh, the liturgy comes next. So now we have to make sure that we put the background so that otherwise when you do the liturgy it's going to have that same background and I only want the fancy backgrounds to go with the songs and when we get to the liturgy parts and the scripture reading parts I want it back to the theme of the video now let's see this video one is next and sometimes they the pastors introduce it so I want to add a um <coughs> I think I want to add a screen in front of it. So when I added a screen, it automatically puts it in the back. So I'm going to click the command, key, hold the command key down, click on it, and slide it over. And then I'm also going to add one at the end. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to move, hit the command key, and slide it over on the other side. Then I'm going to put our background on one on each side of it. I'm going to use the uh, mid. The, oh, and that's the dark one. Oh, I moved it. There. Hey, come on. There we go. Take that dark background there and put one on each side. So when Pastor introduces it, we can go off of the liturgy, end the liturgy, and he's going to say, okay, now we're going to watch a video. So the screen will go blank. Then we'll click on the video, play the video, and then when the video's over, we'll go back to the theme again. And there's some more. Put in there. Another song, Lord Rain in Me. Okay, you rain on high every mountain and stream, so we could have some mountain background or a stream background, sky background, because he's on high. Uh, rain in me. You mean more to me than any earthly thing that could be a, 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 a the world picture or any nature picture? Over all the earth and the mountains, rain and me. So I think we're going to pick a mountain or, or a spring picture or clouds. So we're going to take a look here. I could do this one with the earth. But I'm, I kind of like this one here. I could do a mountain. Let's look for a mountain stream one. That's a little more down to earth than um, space view. Here's a stream. It's a very nice and subtle. I just want a little bit of um, motion in there so it doesn't detract. That's the whole point of the screen is so it won't detract from worship. And let's see if the yellow text will work. How about white text? Change that to white. And then click on it. Hmm. That part in the, between the trees there makes it difficult to see those words. It's a good thing we have the shadow on. See if we take the shadow off, it'll be even more difficult to see. I like the stream. And so the other thing we can do is to change the position to see if it works better in the middle. <coughs> yes, definitely does. I prefer not to go down any lower because sometimes when they sing, people can't see over other people's heads. So I'm going to leave it like that, and I'm going to take that, and I'm going to take that, do command, and drag it over there and pop it in. Now you notice on the preview screen that it doesn't go all the way to the edge of the screen so I want to change that so I'm going to go to um, position and I'm going to change that to preserve aspect ratio nope, I'm going to go to fill screen and then click on it again there, now it fills the screen so every time this shows up on this song, it will fill the screen. 
Then we go to first lesson and we need to put the background back in for this theme. Coin A. Um, this song by so it's us as a group of believers praising him. Praising him for them. What he's done. Motivating us, asking God to accept our service. Bless and save us, guide us till in heaven. This might be a good one for a cross since we haven't. I tried to rotate, so now the first song, Come Now to Worship, we've got a, a cross and a purple. The next song, we've got the stream. Brothers and sisters, that could be a cross. Could be a person praising. Oh, here we got um, a cross and a person. Let's see what that looks like. With a lot of text. Ooh, that's not going to work. Because of the white on the light blue is not going to work. Um, we've got this one. Very subtle movement. Nice and dark background, so the white stands out. And yet there's a hint of a cross on the side. I'm going to go with that. Command. String it, drop it over. Second lesson, put the theme background back in. Hallelujah. Let's see. Basically, I was looking at Jesus on the cross. And then his second coming. So... I'm going to go with a stronger cross theme. Mm. Or maybe this one with the three crosses. Let's see what that looks like. Yep, that one will work. Command, drag it over. That's what it looks like. Unity of Faith Vision, put the theme back in there. Take my life and let it be. We already got the stream going because we're flowing here. Green sheet, yep. Offering, we're going to put our theme back in there. Prayer. Now, once I set the background, it's going to be the same for all these other slides because it doesn't change unless you tell it to change. Twin A. Oh, that the Lord would guide my ways. Order my footsteps. Assist me. Restore me. Make me walk. Now, if I had a walking one, that would be cool, but I don't have a walking one. Maybe one with a path. Let's see what I got. There is one in here. Here's a pathway. Let's see how that looks. I like this one because of the subtle movement there. Just a little bit to make it alive. Let's see if I got another path one. Here's a path one. Oh, I like the sun coming down. Kind of that he's guiding me. I like that one better. We're going to do the forest path. Click Command, drag it, drop it over, then back to our theme. Okay, we've now we we've, we've gotten background themes for all the songs, and we've I've tried to vary it so it's not all the same, and that the backgrounds match the the content of the songs. This concludes our video on picking backgrounds for blended songs.